Hey guys, so New Year's Eve, New Year's type look, New Year's celebration look, okay? So filming in a different area, I am actually at my vanity. Vanity is right here. Where you typically see me film is behind me, okay? Um, so yeah, I wanted to do it here. Y'all let me know how you like the vanity type um, get ready with me. It's just a bit easier because I don't have to truck everything over to my other desk and film. So, um, but yeah, so I did a New Year's Eve um, look. Uh, typically, I feel like most people do things that are silver, um, gold, still the glitter and everything, but more on the silver gold type tip. Me personally, I want to do something a little bit more colorful just because y'all know I do live in the land of color. I like for my face to look like a rainbow threw up on it. I like it. I like it. So, um, I did want to do something a bit more colorful, of course, drama with the lashes, all that jazz, but take it down with a nude lip so that the eyes are just the focus. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> this is, I'm a little sick, so I apologize for all the sniffling and clearing my throat, um, that you will hear in the video. Um, but this look is super highlighted as you can tell with the pinks and purples highlights yes okay so super highlighted it almost gives me mardi gras vibes just with the colors but we walk in this for new years all right so hope you enjoyed hope you all have a safe and happy new year's all the blessings to you all in the new year and i'm going to try to become more um consistent in the new year i had plans for like best of 2017 best of this best I'm tired. I, I'm i tired. So, and I have to be in the right frame of mind to film. My energy has to be good. I have to be, I have to want to film other, otherwise it comes across on camera as me being very kind of blah. So yeah. Anyways, guys, tutorial is coming next. Hope you enjoyed. Happy New Year's. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey guys. So um, hopefully I f will remember to fill in film an intro to this. So I'm going to do a New Year's look and I'm going to use some new palettes from uh, Pinky Rose. This is the center stage palette. This is going to be your typical warm tone type palette. And then I'm going to use bright lights also. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And this is bright lights, <laughs> bright colors. Okay. So I'm going to use both of those and probably use the warm tone one in my crease and then the um, bright one in on my lip okay i think i want to go with something fairly colorful um if i have time i'll do a kind of nudier look i'm actually filming at my vanity right now um i typically film behind me um is what that's where i usually uh sit <clears throat> and so yeah, um, I didn't want to pull everything and like go back there and I don't have my regular monitor I'm looking at the viewfinder. So if you see me looking this way and not here at y'all just know I'm looking at the viewfinder So I'm going to go in I've primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion And for some reason I'm stuffed up and I don't know why I'm soft up because I was fine yesterday But I'm soft up today. So I'm gonna go in with this color here flash and I'm going to lay that down in my crease and just give me kind of a easy transition. And this is going to be a New Year's look, so it's going to be super extra. Y'all know I live for the extraness. <laughs> so I am going to do something super extra, okay? But I am going to deepen up this crease, all right? So then I'm going to go in with the color get this together actually this color right here and this is fame and putting that down in my crease with a big fluffy brush also so <clears throat> I have been stocking these palettes like legit stocking them um, they came out I want to say they came out early December maybe mid-December before Christmas I know that because they sold out on Pinky Rose's um, site. And I've kind of gone a little crazy with uh, palettes. Well, with makeup in general, but especially with palettes. So um, 
I said, well, if they restock before the new year, because I'm going to try to go on a no buy for the new year, right? So if they restock before the new year, then I will buy it. So next color I'm going in is this one, and this is basic. And I'm putting that down, same brush, just in my crease. Yeah, I'll use that one. So I said if they restocked, I would buy it. Now, they never restocked, but there's a, I guess, makeup artist store, um, kind of like your, your regular makeup artist, like the stores that cater to makeup artists. So they have like your Graftobians, your Cinema Secrets, those type of brands or whatnot. I'm going to get another fluffy-ish brush. What is on this brush to make it feel like that? um let me see so i'm gonna go in with it's more of a shader brush okay um and i'm gonna go back with fame which is that kind of deeper brown color and just put that at the top i think i want this crease a little bit deeper go back into basic which is that kind of deeper purple color <clears throat> anyway so they i follow them on instagram and they said that they had this in stock. So what did I do? I went all the way to Southwest Houston. <laughs> so I work, I work kind of central, centrally in Houston. Um, so it wasn't like me going from where I actually live, live, because where I actually live, I live outside of Houston, and that would have been a a whole trip, a whole trip, like an hour or something. But since I went. Um, since I went uh, from my job, it was fine. I kind of went up too high with that color. Okay, so I am going to, I want it even deeper. <sighs> Guys, I want this deeper. I need like a really, really deep, deep, deep purple. What has a deep purple? Okay, so I did say I'm at my vanity, so I'm going to grab another palette. Okay, so I'm grabbing um, the Magic Palette from Juvia's, and I'm going in with this color here, Ife, Ife, something. And I'm taking that. I'm going to get a smaller crease brush, and I'm taking that directly on my crease. It's almost like a deep purple blue, and I'm putting that directly in my crease. So went down there and they had it in stock. So I bought it. <laughs> Cause I I just had to have these palettes for some reason. They are so pretty. Um so far the shadows are nice. I mean this is the first time that I'm using it, but I am not complaining. The payoff is good or whatever. The color I mean the colors are true to what they are, going back with that maroon color basic. And just blending out that purple that I put down from Juvia's Place. So this is going to be a very colorful look. Like I said, I'm here for the extraness <coughs> for New Year's. Oh, if I can get that over there. All right, so I'm going to cut the crease and. I don't know why I'm so sick <laughs> and hopefully I can edit this video to where I don't look crazy like looking for everything um, I want to cut the crease <sighs> let's use an angled brush okay so I'm gonna cut the crease with Mac um, select cover up select cover up and see 45 right, so for the actual lid let's have some fun I'm gonna do purple and mint okay so I'm gonna go in with this color pop rocks Oops, let's fold it this color here I don't know how this eye is going this crease color that I did is gonna look with this but we'll see and I'm gonna just lay that on the 
outer corners. That's as good as it's gonna get right now. So I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is pump, punky, pun, yeah, punky. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some glitter glue. I'm gonna go in with some glitter glue from Too Faced. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna lay that on the same um, kind of pointed crease brush that I was using. And then I'm going to go into this kind of pressed glitter. This one right here is called Cupcake. And that's in the Bright Lights palette. And I'm using one of those. I don't know how I should apply this, but I'm using a. I wonder if I should use a brush. One of those little disposable. I could probably use my finger, but I don't like using my finger to apply makeup. Almost looks like it took off. I'm like in the camera right now. It almost looks like it took off the um, tealy, greeny, that bluish, greenish teal color that I put down. Interesting. Shit, I didn't put glitter glue on this eye, y'all. Oops. Oh well. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with Ife, that dark purple, and kind of put a border where I wanted the crease to be cut. Okay, so for, for foundation, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear. I hope I still have some in here. Yes, I do. And I'm using a Morphe blending spread because I want to try it out. And am I going to color correct? Maybe I should color correct. I'm going to color correct with um, Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC NW40. And then I'm also going to use Tint Idol um, Concealer in Orange Red. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use a combination of the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Concealer, and I need to do a review for this, but I'm going to top it with, um, okay. I'm going to top it with uh, L'Oreal Pro Glow, Pro Glow? Yeah, L'Oreal, Infallible Pro Glow. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the what you call it what is this Maybelline fit me loose powder god this nose of mine okay and for my um, under eyes I'm gonna use a combination of um, I'm gonna go in closest to the lash line with Ife, that dark purple.
right underneath it I'm going with that light purple color I have um, on the outer side of the halo, this one right here. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this color, it's called the Glitz, directly in the middle. And then going in with some more of that cupcake glitter. I'm not sure if this is how this is the best way to. All right, so for liner, I'm going to use Inglots, of course. That's what I always use. And I don't have my Dara line, so I'm going to use a little bit of Meron's uh, mixing medium, and hopefully this works. Okay, and under my eyes, I'm going with Marc Jacobs highliner. All right, I'm gonna set my full face with. Ooh, it's not in the right container, but this is Ben Nye, not Ben Nye, RCA No Color Powder. Uh, let that sit for a little bit. Put my lashes on. I'm going to use um, Eyler's Gilded. Focus, focus, focus. Eyler's Gilded Lashes. Okay, so I'm going to kind of buff in the rest of this powder. And I'm going to spray my face. No, I'm not going to wait till I'm done. I do have some Estee Lauder. Um, not Estee Lauder. Lancome Dual Finish Powder. On this brush, this is a shade. My lash is like... Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with uh, Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. I think this might be a little light for me, but we're going to see how it translates on the skin. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with this Iman Trio, and I'm going to use this bronze shade. Okay, so for contour, I'm going to use MAC Blunt. Um, I don't want anything too, 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 too harsh. Too harsh. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm going to stay purple-ish. Purple-ish. Um, with this makeup look since the eyes are super heavy on the purple and I'm gonna use a purple blush if I can find it okay so I'm gonna use this La Femme blush this one right right here and I think it's called purple passion it does have a little bit of sparkle to it Okay, I'm gonna cut my contour. And for highlights, I wanna use a pinky purpley highlight. So I think I'm gonna mix two Colored Rain shades. I'm gonna mix Cutie Pie from Colored Rain gonna mix cutie pie from colored rain and lavender dreams from colored rain we'll see how that looks I'm gonna go in with cutie pie first I 
still gonna do um my blush is like ugh, but that's okay I'm uh, gonna do two lip, lip options, but both are going to be lined with just a brown. Okay. So this is Mac. What is this cork? Okay, and let's do the nude first. <clears throat> okay, so the nude is going to be a mixture of Belegant Cosmetics um, spray tan, and then I'm gonna top it with this Wet n Wild cat suit. Okay, so. And when I said nude, it's like my lip color. So it's super nude for me. And to top it, I'm using Wet n Wild's cat suit in a wet and yeah, they're called cat suit, but they're their liquid lips, and it's in the color satin sheets. And to finish, I don't think I'm going to, I like this lip color with it, since the eyes are so extra. I'm going to use a dewy spray, because I'm not wearing this makeup for long. And this is Milani's um, Make It Dewy spray. Okay guys, so here's the look. Um, super highlighted, super purple, super pink super highlighted can we say that again <laughs> yeah it's it's nice though i like it i think i want to contour my nose a little bit more though Where's my... okay so yeah all right guys so hope you enjoyed there's a piece of glitter right here and i will talk to y'all later bye